The Halloween capital of the world saw lots of events leading up to its revered holiday. Let's check out some of those events. The night of October 21st saw the prelude to the infamous Anoka Halloween Parade with the Light Up the Night Parade. Let's check out some of those fun floats. On October 22nd, families gathered at George Enloe Park to participate in the 19th Medallion Hunt. Let's meet the people who made this possible. It started in 2005. Um, Laura, you, Laura's designed the button now for 19 years, mm -hmm. and Heidi, her sister, has uh, done the clues for all the hunts, maybe missed one at the start, yeah. but they're kind of the backbone to the whole thing. And, Heidi reflects on the hunt's inspiration. We do this in honor of one of our past um, leaders and committee members, Ron, and it's it's in his honor. He used to um, he used to do a lot of things for Noka Halloween, and so we honor him in that way. After an afternoon of searching, the medallion was found. <laughs> How's your feel to win? Good. I won last year too. And some had their own questions to ask the winner. Can you share the money? No. All in all, the hunt was a success, and many can't wait for next year's hunt. Lastly, right before the Anoka Halloween Parade, the parade route found another use in the 38th annual Grey Ghost 5K Run. Many ran in costume through the parade route and were cheered on by onlookers. A tradition since 1985, the race is named after Anoka's Grey Ghost, a local veterinarian named Dr. William Anberg. The nickname was given to him after being spotted running through the Anoka Cemetery by two women who promptly called the police on him. Since then, the Grey Ghost Run has over a thousand runners compete each year in honor of Dr. Anberg. Be sure to follow QCTV to watch all of the Anoka Halloween celebrations and see all of the events we covered. Stay tuned for more coverage next year.